Hello everyone, welcome back to the Darkest Dungeon, which you have to say that every single time in that way because you are contractually obliged to put as much gravitas as you possibly can into the Darkest Dungeon. Enough of that. Uh, I'm on this screen because I was looking at what we were doing, but I was told by uh, Bagel of Bagel Name here, IRL, not that particular character who doesn't speak to me that much, uh, that the... What is this? Antiquarian is very bad in combat, as we discovered when the Antiquarian turned up. I was going, what the hell is this for? Although it does seem to be somewhat a decent support character, and we have been using a lot of buffs. Um, but as I was noticed, it seemed to be a very selfish character, which is true. What the Antiquarian does do is increase the amount of gold per stack by 500 gold pieces per Antiquarian in the party, and increases the likelihood that rare things will drop, uh, I believe, trinkets. Uh, rare and very rare trinkets are more likely to drop. Um, for example, this one produces a random trinket. This seems actually really decent. So, you, an antiquarian on a uh, on a medium or long mission could be okay. And a heal, and there's an encourage, and there's a pet talk, and there's produce a random supply item, and reduces your own stress damage. So, this doesn't seem like the sort of unit you'd want to really put in for de-stressing. You'd really only want to de-stress them when they flipped out and started ruining everybody else's lives. But I'm wondering whether this is one of the times that I go back on what I was saying and just dismiss it when it's useless. Um, because otherwise it's not sort of thing you'd want to level up or take out on missions. Speaking of missions, we were on this screen, I was just checking out that we do have a... Uh, as mentioned in the previous episode, I believe, which I recorded yesterday, so I've forgotten everything that's ever happened. Uh, it's a medium... Uh, but it's a, a boss mission. The last one that we have yet to do before we level everything up. But the cove, the warrens, and the wield need more exploration because the warrens is level 3. Whereas everything else is level 2. So we should start taking um, maybe some of our lower level characters. Although Tim, who is one of the only people who have died so far, has also disappeared on a drunken bender. So, yeah, you're not coming with us. We could use Vague. Better in the second position. Although, there's a pull. And a mark and debuff. So that's a, a mark. Uh, that's the follow up from a mark. Then there's the mark, which does remove prop, which we really do like. Shuffle single, which is a decent thing. Stunned. And a stun. So there's a mark and a marked, a stun and a stunned. What does this do? This just bleeds. I'm wondering whether we change Vague's loadout so that we've got the Mark and the Marked and the Stunned and the Stunned. But the Stunned and the Stunned don't work with one another and remember, I think I discussed this previously. If you stun something and then expect to use this, the thing that you stunned will have a go before you next have your own go in most cases. So it's not very likely that you'll be able to stun and then follow up with the damage against stun on the same stun because it's likely that the stun will come off. Um, so maybe we take out some of the people who we've taken out recently already. Maybe we take Viz, who's good in the front position and can tank quite a lot because he does have his own, um, his own HP and stress relief. It's quite nice. Maybe, like, let's, let's, uh, spec out a small party and see what we come up with. Viz is a tank, which is, you know, not, not ideal, but 33 is some. Uh, Armor? Okay. Uh, we don't have any protection, but we could maybe buff him with some protection. Mr. Steve won't go with. Uh, although we could take uh, Viva Phonics here in the first position. That, that's often also quite a good idea, especially with Iron Swan. Um, which we could unlock. We have unlocked. Seems decent. Although we can only really attack the second. Maybe replace that with that. No, no you can't attack on <laughs> We want to be able to attack everything at least. Let's try this then. You go there. You go there. And we'll take. We need a healer that can actually cope with going out with. Yeah, Bagel. Bagel and then bringing up the rear. <laughs> Snowlin. Yeah, that's a decent position. That's a decent position. So this seems like a decent loadout, a decent party. Because uh, we'd like to take Viz out to get some XP. I'm thinking maybe we will do this boss, even though I said previously don't really want to do the boss. 
because it'll be a long mission, but uh, that's okay, we'll, we'll do this. And also there was something that we wanted to do here, which I think was to check out the guild. And yeah, we want to get... I want to do that. I want to keep these things. So we want to get more portraits and crests. So we'll try to remember to prioritise those in our inventory. Let's check the people we're taking. Okay, so I kind of want to use this, 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 and this. Maybe? I'll take them all, because I think I've just done that wrong. Whatever. You're already upgraded. Marie is new. But I... Maybe when we next take Marie out, we should upgrade Marie. Not really using that. And you... I should probably upgrade some of the other things to do, especially this um, weakening curse and these hexes, the debuffs that we use. We're actually making a good amount of uh, use of, I think. Which is fair. We've got a full roster, but we may want to try and get rid of that... Um, that thing later. We don't have anything we really care for, though. I'm going to rename these uh, these people here. This will be Ellie. Do we have a name for this person? Sure. This is going to be Martin. Martinus. So those two will probably come out on a future mission, but at this stage, I'm not really sure I want to do that. I mean, we do want to take more gold, don't get me wrong. Uh, but this is not a gold mission. This is a fight the last boss mission because I know I've been doing boss mission, mission, boss mission, mission. Uh, I, I was going to make a song out of that, but <laughs> this is really going to be bothered. Uh, we will actually do boss, boss, mission, mission, boss, boss, mission. Uh, and we will also do the do what diddy diddy dum diddy do and the do run 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 the do run run. So this seems like a, a good set. So let's put the usual trinkets on here. I think I wanted this one. Good dodge and good speed. We don't. We do resist debuffs less. And you're going to be doing some melee attacks, really. But oh, you already have good damage versus beast. I wonder if you have anything that sort of augments that. Not really. Grave robber. We could use that on uh, on Marty on the next episode. Which is probably when I'm going to take Marty out is the next episode. A stun resist might be a good idea. I do recall our Houndmaster Mary got stunned quite a lot in the previous episode. Uh, so that seems decent. You have got... Well, we'll sort by class restriction. Stun skill, debuff skill. No, you're our healer, so we're going to use the standard pair of... Not that one. This one. Don't forget we did have... I think we had that in the last episode, which is why our occultist got so... So stressy. And then this one, which will prevent the bleeds from happening. Then, Viz, what do you prefer? More max HP and more dodge might be a good one. I want a sort of a stress resist thing, actually. Less stress damage. And less speed. So much less speed. I mentioned this yesterday. There's <laughs> just so much. I don't like it. Uh, stun skill and stun resist might be good to have. Minus four dodge. Still gives you quite a lot of dodge left. Bleed skill, no. Protection, more stress damage, no. Maybe if we can get even less stress damage than we already have. No, not really. Um, yeah, you do have a stun skill, I think, which is this one. Oh, it's a knockback. Maybe we should increase our move skill then. Oh, that's a stun skill. Okay, good. I was right. Stop double guessing yourself all the time. There's a good chat. Bleed skill chance is probably what we want because we did just go around and intentionally swap around those. Uh, more damage would be good, but there's an accuracy thing somewhere that we would like. and Because the Hellion has, tends to have poor accuracy on melee skills. Protection. Yes, this one. Which doesn't even come with the speed debuff, which is super helpful. This is a... Uh, oh. If HP below 50%. Saint Hood, that might make us use stuff on the way around, but that's okay. Uh, this seems fine to me. Let's see where we end up. There is firewood and dog treats, but that's all we start with. Uh, and I'm hoping that it's going to be a, a less linear layout. In the last episode, we did a boss um, in a square layout, so we had a lot of opportunity to decide where we went and whether we went. I'll take some shovels. I recall that um, I read that shovels are better in the cove because you can open the barnacle chests with a shovel. Uh, there's going to be... Bleed is good in the cove as well, because things have more protection. 
Uh, I mean, maybe some bleed resist. Or maybe just a couple of herbs. Let's take a couple of herbs. Then we can get more food and use the food to heal up. Uh, if that's what's going to be the way. My lofty position wasn't always accompanied by the fear of office. And there was a time when I could walk the streets or raise a glass in the tavern without concern for molestation. Faithful as the tide, one precocious village waif made it her hobby to shadow my every errand. It was charming then. Troublesome later. Hmm. I can imagine. Attracting the attentions of... Always wondered the unwanted attention of, of certain ladies. Unfortunate little waif. Well, we found her. Well, the first thing that's going to happen is we get a battle, but at least we know about it, so that's a good start. Um, let's just check our skills. We did want if it bleeds, rather than bleed out. Although that is a, it's a strong bleed, but it's a very final attack for us, whereas this can hit anything without, you know, compromising our future abilities. So there is a trap as well, so that's a decent room. I'm expecting the bosses over here in the furthest away place, which is a longer way place, but at least we don't have... I mean, on the one hand, we don't have choices, but on the other hand, we don't have to guess too much. So let's uh, walk on, and that is. So we want to get rid of these things, because obviously they've got the um, the heal. We do have Iron Swan, but we don't have anything at the back, so that's a problem. Uh, Yalp is a two stun. Oh, that does a debuff to us as well. So basically all we can do is this, which we might as well do. We've improved our accuracy with the trinket, so that's, that's very helpful indeed. This stress heals everybody, which is really good, but I think what we're going to do... Beast. You're all Eldritch, which is you. But I guess... Oh, we could just kill this straight out, but... We should. <laughs> we really should. No, don't go back on your own philosophies. Just kill things when you can kill them. And that was a bit of stress heal, which is nice. This is all you do, probably. So look, uh, dodge and speed, that's all they've really got. Let's see then. Bile transform is not going to be great, so... I think we just try and use this unit as a, a stunner, which I'm sure James will agree with. Damage or dodge? I'm going to take dodge off of this. Maybe this? Ah, this. Just do one damage, which is not meaningful, but that gives us a mark for this unit and a bit of an opportunity later. There's your mark there. And it's dead. Good job. I think we handled this one correctly, but it's also... A, Somewhat, it's the uh, look of the the ordering of uh, six is really good of, of the of the turn. That was that was very uh, helpful indeed. Don't forget about this trap. Don't forget about this trap. Don't forget about this trap. Seventy, sixty, sixty, ninety. You're doing it. Good job. That's what we keep you around for. This crate is empty. Hoping to get some more uh, heirlooms than than that gave us. Obviously we didn't, but I was still hoping for it. Another trap here. If there's enough traps, eventually Snow and will fail. Here's where you use the shovel, you see. Shovel makes easy work of the barnacles. There's some uh, nothing that we need, but that's okay. Uh, we did get some food, which was one of the things we said we wanted. There we go. Keep doing that and we'll all be happy. It's going to reduce his own stress quite a lot as well. I could do that. To oh, torch. It's fine. Not surprised? No one's surprised. So we'll use a torch when we can. Bit of stress there. Reduce some torch, and then increase some torch. So what do we do here? I suppose we start off... This is the only stressy unit. But I think that what we do is maybe don't take guard out. Guard dog and start using Hounds Harry? We'll have to remember about that. Uh, I'm gonna put a mark on... None of this is beast, unfortunately. So I guess we try and use Snowland to one-shot this at the on the next round. It does risk having that one having the first go next time as well, which is not unlikely. Maybe we can stun it. Does it move it back? No. We can try to stun it, which is probably worthwhile. Especially with this being, in that form, mostly useful for doing that sort of thing. Good good dodge already. Appreciate that. Spearfishing. Another dodge? Wait, that's a different, uh, that's a different attack. It's probably because it's at the back. Maybe spearfishing is something it can only do from the back. Not unlikely. Let's get rid of you. Not quite. That's okay. 
Uh, we should probably think about healing this unit. Not very much, apparently, but at least resist. At least the bleed is resisted, which means we get two HP without having to worry about losing three HP afterwards. And getting that one into death range was probably a really good idea. Uh, yeah, do that again. That's more like it. Thank you, Bagel. See what slash dodge. Not dodge. As long as we keep the HP up on this one, these are not causing us any stress. HP is not a problem with Bagel around, as we've seen. You're the only one who's got a go, so I might as well do some damage to you and try to prevent you from having that go, which I did. Do we Iron Swan this, which could have killed that in one shot? Or do we Wicked Hack this, which can't kill it in one shot? Here. Yeah. Because we can kill that with basically anybody else, I don't feel too leery about leaving it. Oh, not apart from him. <laughs> Great. Hmm. In that case, we get rid of this one, guaranteed. Everything had a go, so it's not like it mattered which one we picked. You can kill it. Excellent, excellent. And then someone else had a go before that one. Yes, die. Close. Very close indeed. Unfortunately, did not do the job. I'm wondering whether... Oh, I forgot about the thing. I'm wondering whether the... Uh, that was really good. The skill that Viva Phonics doesn't currently have set up. No, you don't get another fucking go. Good job. May actually be pretty good for a round like this where there's only one thing left. Right, we've remembered about that. Nice. We should take the leper out more often, actually. The reason, One of the reasons I don't, and this is going to sound weird, is because it's named after something that is not a person. But a cat. And I don't really feel like I'm going to, you know, mention the cat on Facebook and say, hey, we should... Oh, no, because it would only hit the front one, so I think I'm going to keep this. Uh, I'm going to say, hey, you're on fucking camera, am I? A waiting to be spent. I prefer to take people who are going to go, oh, my God, I'm in an episode. Uh, maybe a bit selfish trying to get viewership figures, but it's not really the way I think about it. It's more like all my mates have got their names in, in here, and I'm... <laughs> I want them to know about it. The gut is cleansed, allowing for a safe search of the gross. For a task well performed. Yes, very well performed, that gross uh, cleansing out of fish guts. Now this, I recall, it can actually... Is it remove one of these? It does something like that, anyway. Who do we... Oh, God. You've got a code phone. Oops. Well, at least we've got the trinket that reduces that somewhat. Uh, in that case, I'll make you do this, just in case it's good. Plutomania removes. I was right about it removing one. It did maybe remove the one that I was not so concerned about. But Remember to take maybe more medicinal herbs then to the cove. Because I remember that you could use those on that. That's not the problem. Uh, slightly less light than I thought I had. That's fine. We'll use that. Uh, I mean, I kind of want to find... Stop talking, Wayne. I want to find out how long this debuff lasts for. And hopefully... That's a high stun resist, to be fair. You've got a lot of protection, so I could use your debuff on that. So we'll kill this first. Or at least do a lot of damage to it. Before then later killing it. And don't forget we've got a camp. So, excellent. Well resisted. Do appreciate that. The Black Plague. Bagel, seriously. And the stun. Yo, I thought you had the... Oh, there's no stun on there. Okay. The Black Plague. Absolutely horrible. Well, at least this kind of makes up for some of that, so... It, it, it's not as bad as it could currently be, but it is still pretty bad. And you don't get your go, which is quite upsetting. In which case... Chill out, everyone. It's fine. Good. And then if we do that again... Oh, you didn't even get the debuff from it. Whatever. Uh, beast. No, no, no. These are all Eldritch, which is basically you, but you're not doing any damage. We could always cry havoc a few times to try and chill everyone out from uh, from that transformation stress. Uh, we will target... Shocker. I love that. Uh, this thing can um, protect something else. So I'm going to put the mark on this, on the theory that this will at some point protect something else, just like that. 
So now that's guarding that, but I'm not going to attack that because I put the mark on that. Good fucking thinking. I'm actually quite proud of myself for that one. GG. Salty gouge. You. <clears throat> no thank you. No bleedy. I know you bleed. To your goddamn socks, mate. <coughs> Oi. I'd like Bagel to have a go without being stunned if entirely possible. Another bleed. That's okay. We didn't bring any... I was up and ahhing about bringing some, um, some, some bandages, but ultimately I thought, I don't care, so I'm not going to. What's your stun resist? 50%. Oh my goodness. You've got a bleed on you, so we'll put another one on you. Can't put another one on you. We can attack this. 5 to 10, which could kill it, plus some bleed damage. Oh, that was, that was well enough. I'm, I'm happy with that. Yeah, that's good. You stress yourself out, but nobody else when you are still transformed. So we will rape you again. Try and wail away on this one. This one's doing stuff that I'm not happy with, but this one's doing a lot of damage, so I'd like it to go away. Why are you bleeding? No, uh, maybe from the uh, salty... Salty salt. Less damage. Wait, didn't we have a, a reduced protection? That must have been the Plague Doctor. Whatever. What are you on? Eight. Seven. Yeah, seven. That's a real thing. Shush. I mean, I don't care. I might as well just do this. Sixteen. Well, that was twice as much as you needed, but that's fine. It keeps you topped up because you're bleeding. And I'm kind of happy to continue with that. Five damage. It is enough to kill you. So, I will... Uh, Attack. Oh, it's still guarded, though. It's really annoying, because it means, um... I mean, we hit like... Oh, my God. Well done, James. And we slew the evils that lurketh. Is my uh, achievement unlocked. That's what we need. So if... Um, if it comes to it, we will probably get rid of some of this for portraits. Unlock strongbox. Has no barnacles if on me, you see, so I'm happy to take it. In fact, we should probably eat some of this food. That'll do for now. Just, uh, just three. At some point we want to camp, but I think we can probably get quite a lot further before we need to. This is going really well, and um, not to jinx it, which is almost inevitable. The pack contains loot. Packs laden with loot. Uh, excuse me? Are often low on supplies. Packs laden with loot are often low on supplies. Well, I guess that is... I'll take it because we want to stack more gold and we don't really need eight more torches to get through here. No trap? Okay. Well, we did find food. Find food, feed food, feed find. Food find! Uh, as quoth the... the... inimitable Joel Veach. Right, let's see if we can get rid of this thing. Oh! We got rid of that thing! <laughs> oh, well done, Doug. Absolutely outstanding. I'm very much a fan of that. And everything's Eldritch, so I think we want to take this one away next. Can you kill that? No. So we'll mark it. Maybe Viz can stun it. Prevent it from having this turn, and we can maybe kill it on the... Oh, it's definitely within death range now, so that was really well... Well, uh, well done, I think. The pistol artillery could hit that, but I don't really care to. Maybe we'll just remove some of the damage from one of these... This attempt to. Three! It actually did three damage, which is quite a lot. So you don't get a go, and you two are just going to stab us, but we tend to dodge these. That was a, more of a cue and a hint rather than an analysis. You're supposed to actually dodge it. Oh, you get a go anyway. Okay. Dodged! Good dodge on Snowland. Or by Snowland. Uh, and that was almost exactly the right amount of damage to have done there, so... I think we did the right thing again. We don't have a sort of a general party buff, which is a shame. In fact, you, you're the only one with any buff of your own to speak of. Ten damage does not quite cut it. If you were bleeding, that would be swell. But you ain't bleeding. So we can probably uh, throw out a heal on these units. That's okay too. I don't want to transform because of the stress, but... This seems sort of both over and under kill at the same time. It's not good enough to do enough damage right now. And it doesn't hit the unit I want it to hit. If, if that makes sense. But maybe I can get you into death range. Not really. I mean, it may have been a bad... Um, 3 plus 1. It may have been a bad move to try that. But 
When Snowlin goes first and we haven't set up for anything, I'm not really sure <laughs> we can do very much good at all. That's, uh, that's a lot of damage. I'm not too much of a fan of that. Can we stun both of you? It's quite a good chance. Yes. Now we have a turn. So you can uh, stress heal and heal yourself. You can heal you. For two. Brilliant. Well done. That's gone. So you two are probably going to go first. So now we will try and cry havoc and heal this unit. Which did somewhat work. Then we will hit this to get rid of it, because the other unit is guaranteed to be dead on the next turn. And we heal you properly, if you don't mind. Well, that's an improvement for sure. Just have to end it, I guess. I mean, that's not ideal. Uh, we could be in a better position. That's 1,500 gold right there. How does that even work? What are we going to do here? We've got 50 gold and a chance to pick up more. We're going to use the firewood like right now. So that'll basically give us an entire stack free anyway. We'll probably eat eight food, so that'll be two stacks free. So I'm kind of happy to leave this where it is. Yeah, we'll, we'll discard 50 gold on the theory that in future... I guess we'll wait to use that torch. On, in a turn or so... Okay, this is probably a good time to camp. But give us the inventory space for whatever we find. Maybe we should camp on the next room. We haven't got any inventory space, which is basically my entire concern right now. I don't really care about... Um, I guess I don't I don't mind about what's going to come up or whether this is the min-maxiest place to do this. What I really want is to be able to collect the loot from future endeavours. Right, we don't really need to heal anybody because if you crit, it's really good. We have got... Everyone loses accuracy and speed for four combats, which is too long, we reduce a lot of stress. So that's not a good idea. You get plus 8% crit for combats, which should last until the boss. I'm hoping it does. What can you do? Reduce stress. Might be worthwhile. You get stress and you increase your damage for four combats. For speed for four combats. Okay. Well, that means you get to go first quite a lot, which could apply as a stun. Were you the one with the stun? No, that was the bounty hunter. So I think you and the Bounty Hunter might work well together, because if you're fast and have a stun, and then the Bounty Hunter can make use of that stun, it would be really good. Uh, you've got stuff that causes a lot of stress. Ah, a bit of stress. Prevents a nighttime ambush. Could be worth doing, but also... You've got this one, which costs four. So I think this is always worthwhile doing. Because not having a nighttime ambush basically is one combat fewer to A, get damage from, and B, lose these... Um, these four combat buffs from. So I think maybe... Yeah, we'll do this. It gives us stress straight away, but he can reduce his own stress. Like on one of those last turns when the enemy's nearly dead anyway. You are going to... Yeah, you just sharpen your... I don't think you need to do anything, so we'll just sharpen your spear. And then we'll rest. It's not the ideal thing, because we had one unit of time left. The promise of safety. You know, you can't, you can't win them all, is what I'm saying here. Yeah? Another one of these, I think I'll just ignore it. I'm not sure it can do anything if you don't cleanse it. Another fucking one. Definitely bring a few more medicinal herbs next time. That's an uneventful corridor, which pleases me. And here's an uneventful room, which pleases me. So we could have taken one step further, but... I guess now it doesn't make any difference. All our buffs last for number of combats, not for number of turns. Oh, uh, there's a torch. That's handy. So we'll use it. The way is and then we'll surprise the these guys. Clear. We, we did. Only the strength to Pleased with that. It. Okay. Try and get rid of fucking everything. You are all eldritch and, and unholy. Uh, not sure this is valuable because I'd rather sort of mark this and then debuff it. I'll do zero damage. This is very slow though. I think this, these are the slowest things. I think we're actually already faster, so... Let's try this. You resist it, please, so you're going down now. Three damage. And then Viz has got damage as well. 
Do a do a blight on them. So you've got three damage per round and you're two left. You've got five and three and one, so you're basically dead too. Okay, cool. Thank you for playing. Have a nice day. 16 dodge, don't care, so we'll reduce your damage. Oh, well, we didn't, but it's the thought that counts, I suppose. A good dodge, so it doesn't really matter that our debuff didn't work. He died, and then you get to go and lose most of your health, which will allow us to do a barbaric yow. And you dodged the attack anyway, so. No damage to that, one to two for that. So we might as well just hounds rush. That's dead anyway. You're dead anyway? Not quite. But we should heal you. That's more like it. Now everyone's at full HP and you can uh, absolution yourself, get rid of some of the stress you gave yourself uh, in order to increase your damage and give yourself that grim disturbing look on your face. What just happened? Can we talk about what just happened? I, I wasn't expecting that at all. <laughs> this was not really my... Uh... We're going to have to try and use this turn. You're going to die. <laughs> ah, big problem. What do we win? I think we already got one of those, but we can still sell it. Uh, do we care about busts? I don't think so. So much gold. This is an excellent amount of gold. We could always um, exchange again in future if we want to. I think I'm going to keep what we've got. Tempted to get rid of that, but we can sell that for more than those will ever be worth, if you see what I mean. I know the busts don't have a monetary value necessarily, but... I kind of wish it had a better opportunity to heal up. Let's try and keep you away from death's door by eating a bit. All we need to do is, not, is only have like, four food left, just in case we get hungry. So As long as we go into this fight reasonably well equipped for it, 25 damage, 3 combats. I crit 3 combats. Okay. Let's not think it. Excuse me, that was a trap. At least you dodged it. I'm a fan of that. No touchy. Okay, good. No combat. Okay, good. Right, we'll use another torch, and we will prepare ourselves for this fight that I'm not entirely sure about the, uh, the mechanics of. There you are, so you get two turns. She is their queen. And their slave. So we can bleed this. Two points around for three rounds. That seems like a good start. It's got 119 HP. Or we could just hit it for 7 to 14 damage. It has dodge but no protection. You can remove dodge, right? Yes. So if we can debuff it with Bagel, once Bagel has done all the necessary stuff to uh, make sure everyone doesn't die, You've got enough stress that I'm going to transform, uh, sort of, enough stress scope that we're going to transform you. Everyone else will take a bit of stress. But now, is this, what does this do here? 10 to 18. We'll rage against that particular machine. I think every so often, sex it, yeah, that will happen, so. We're going to have to try not to kill that unit until it comes back, basically. All right, let's target this. That lasts for three rounds, so we can hit it three times whilst that marks on before we have to worry about the, uh, the effect of it. She's not going to be able to Iron Swan anybody, but she can maybe do the Barbaric Yout, which uh, doesn't please me. Ah, uh, it's a bad position for you to be in because you can't use this. So we will remove your dodge. Please successfully debuff. Yeah, that's good. So you're pretty debuff. No protection, no dodge. So now we just do as much damage as we can before we all die. Maybe I should have moved you? I don't know. I bleed. That's not so good. I'm going to move you now. I think you can still do this from the back, so if you end up in the middle or at the front... Uh, basically, Bagel's in the position that I can cope with. Um, knock back. Minus three speed. It's an opportunity. Break does both of them. I don't want to hurt our own unit if we can avoid it, so I think I'll just keep raising. 15 damage because you've got your uh, plus 25, which is nice. Oh, you're taking stress as well. Adrenaline Rush will heal you and buff you, so when you come back... Oh my god! Thank you so much! No, don't don't apologise. That's outrageously good. 
Alright, can we get you forwards whilst attacking? Possibly. We might have to make you walk forward slowly. Oh, you're well, coming back, are you? Never mind then. Ooh. Well resisted. That is really, really good. It's a shame that you're going to have to take several turns to step forwards, but uh, we've got Viz at the front here. Assisting with this and stacking up bleeds somehow. I don't know where they came from. Bagel will finally heal somebody. Probably Snolan. A 14 crit. That will reduce some of the uh, stress damage that we've been taking. And no bleed. You're still bleeding, which is great. Devour will apply a carpet bleed. Most people succumb to that, which is unfortunate, but at least it wasn't Bagel. Song of Desire. Are you going to transform if this happens? No. Then you're going to get a go. Very stressful. Not a fan of that. You dodged the slam, which seems like an incredibly difficult thing to actually achieve, so well done on that. Um... <laughs> what have you got? It doesn't move anything forwards. There is a move forward, which is this one. We haven't got it. Also, it would hit Fizz, so we don't want to do that. So I'll actually move you backwards. Ready for the next round. This is turning out to be quite difficult because we're having to... Um, uh, hello. We're having to sort out our positioning as well as whether we actually do any damage or anything. <gasps> that is outrageously good. So all we really have to contend with is that in future because... Um, this is going to be okay. You crit yourself, which is quite nice. You're going to stay stressing yourself out though, aren't you? That's okay. Don't worry about that. What have we got here? Five to eight. It's some. I think that plus another iron swan might be enough to kill this thing. So, well, plus the uh, extra, apparently, for that. Especially if you crit another iron swan. And everybody dodged that. So I'm very happy for that to happen. Don't worry about that. It's okay. You are just making noises, that's okay, just keep making those noises, as long as that's all you do. Ooh, that was bad. Well, now you're back there again, and you're debuffed for three rounds. Everybody dodge, right, Bagel, your turn. Oh, dear. I guess we could do this. It's five to nine damage. It just brings it that closer to death. Once this is dead, we can stop worrying about all the shit that it keeps doing to us. Oh god. <laughs> I want you to be not in a bad position. Quite right. I agree. Our dodge seems to have suffered completely. Uh, I wonder if you can slam. No. You can't do anything. You can't even transform from here, which is outrageous, but okay. That's a bit worrisome. Do this. You're bleeding again. 4 HP. You haven't got much uh, opportunity to... You have no chance to survive make your time, I guess is what I'm saying here. 3 damage per round. <laughs> That's not good enough. Right, you heal you. Reckless abandon. Uh, 12 is decent. I'm happy with that. It wasn't a crit, but we can't hope for crits all the time. Uh-oh. What's going to happen? Just stress. Okay. We can cope with stress because at the worst, we get everyone back to town and we fix it. Uh... Just, just kill it. That will probably bring this back, yeah. We're off. Now you can't fucking transform again, you jackass. Wayne's talking to us, but I don't really know what he's saying. I mean, I guess we do this. You're going to completely flip out just because I haven't been able to transform you back yet. It's just unfucking fair. IMO. I mean, our HP is not too much of a concern right now, so we could just, like, try and hit this for two to three damage and then it's done. <gasps> this is so close to stressing out at the end of all that. A Beast Slayer's Ring is okay. These are okay. Um, they're valuable, at least. So I think we should at least get rid of this. And probably the food. No one's bleeding or anything, so... We won't get the money back for the food, but that's okay. Uh, yeah, we'll just, uh, we'll leave. <laughs> I'm out. Boom. It's a good thing that the boss is always the furthest one from the entrance. So we got our bit of money back for the shovels. Which, unfortunately, we didn't get the most use out of. We've got plenty of crests. I really wanted portraits, but we didn't, um, didn't pick any up, unfortunately. This has become slow reflexes. 
but also on guard. So good speed and good dodge on the first round means that he can guess. I guess some guess. I guess get something done, but we'll have to try and figure out what. All so we decided the that horrors I have seen pale uh, in comparison to that final crowning thing. I could not look, nor could I look away. I don't know what you said. Tim's back. Good job. And presumably without too much of a hangover. We decided that Viz and Vague would have a, a decent amount of synergy because... Because uh, Vague's got this... Uh, versus stun thing. And James has got that stun that he can basically use when in human form, not stressing himself out too much. You're going to meditate. That's so cheap. Why are some people cheaper than others? I do not understand this. Look how stressed he is. So it's not like it's because of him. I'm wondering if there's some hidden mechanic that I'm not sure about. Uh, we can also... In time, you will know what I want. The we can watch the... Uh, of my failings. We can watch cinematics over again, apparently, but I want to click on this. Is this where we sell these? No? Oh, I think we just sell them straight from here, don't we? Right, so we've got dupes. We'll unequip everything, and we'll sort by name, I guess. And we'll sell dupes. Which seems like a decent idea because we always unequip and then re-equip. So we've got two of these. So unless we take two of the same class, we've got three of these fucking things. Unless we take two of the same class, which is rare, but not, I suppose, unheard of. We're not going to need two of any trinket. Because you can't equip the same trinket twice. So I think that's everything there. Okay. We did get some new stuff. We've got this rot gut sensor, which is uh, higher accuracy. Maybe we should think about using our uh, plague doctors again. We did use Mary in the last episode, so I guess it's not that uh, unrecent. So I think in the next episode we'll try and uh, get Ellie and Martinez out on a mission to get stuff, money, and uh, these doodma bobs here. Heirlooms. Yeah, we still need more of them. But we've got enough of those. Maybe we could swap 11. We need four. Oh, no, the other way. This. It's going to cost us 24. This is way too many. Uh, although they, they are a dime a dozen, so I suppose it's not that bad. We'll take Ellie, we'll take Martinez, we'll probably take Tim. Or Vague. And then one of our innumerable healers, which we could... It's getting to the point where we don't have any low-level healers, unfortunately. Especially considering Bagel's this close to levelling up. In fact, Bagel should probably go for a, a drunken bender as well. Look, 850 again. And we need to get rid of that disease, so Bagel's out of action for quite some time. Pete is only just level 2, so he's not too likely to have a problem. Uh, like, accidentally becoming level 3 before we get someone else in, down here, to be the new healer. I would like to be able to increase the size of my roster can only go up to 28, so we might actually have to start dismissing people just based on the principle that they're not any use in the party, which is a shame because I've named everybody. But we do have one more step on that first. Which is a high level recruits appearing the stagecoach. I mean, I suppose over time, everyone will level up sort of alongside one another, so we can still use the higher level uh, healers. But I think that'll do for this episode. I've waffled on more than enough for everybody's attention span. So thank you for joining me, and I do hope you will join me for the next episode. But I will see you then.